Man, let me tell you, there ain't nothing like waking up on the river. <laughs> hey, y'all, Dan with the Southern Paddler Channel here, and this is day two of the Jack's Fork River trip. Man, waking up on the river, hearing the water gently running by, birds off in the distance, there is nothing like it. I can't get enough. So here you see Wes's hammock. I'll pan around, and there's my hammock. And then as I come on around and look back towards the river, you'll see Gray's tent and then our campsite, our campfire, where Gray and Wes are already getting their breakfast started and get some coffee made. You can see what an absolutely gorgeous campsite this was. Again, one of the best campsites I've ever been at on a river. This was such a beautiful spot. So we're going to go ahead and get us uh, some breakfast and coffee here and get loaded up and get back on the river for day two of our Jack's Fork River trip.
Yep. <laughs> Ha! Shoot the gap! It was. Yeah. <laughs> I had that thought about a thousand times right before I hit it. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be doing this, but <laughs> if it works, it'll make for great video. If it don't, it'll make for even better video. <laughs> Can't lose. <laughs> Them buzzards are back up to about 500 feet. I think they're giving up on us. <laughs> <laughs> Right there, Wes. <laughs> Just checking. Drunk <laughs> paddle. Oh wow. That's great. You grab my hat, please. <laughs>
trying not to lose my hat again and I almost lost control.
Well, at 6.30 p.m., after covering 23 and a half miles on the river and spending eight and a half hours on the water, we found us a campsite. Now, we knew this would only leave us about five or six miles until our takeout spot tomorrow, but we had just come through Eminence, Missouri, and we wanted to get away from town and have some peace and quiet for our last night on the river. This ended up being a pretty good camp spot, although it wasn't quite as good as it looked. And I say that only because there was a lot of dead trees. There was a kind of a sandy bottom area there, which was really nice and comfortable. And there were some open spaces, but there were so many dead trees around, we just couldn't find many spots that we felt really comfortable hanging our hammocks. But we did find a spot. And so this was a great final campsite on our last night on the Jacks Fork River. Be sure and check in for the third and final video of our Jacks Fork River trip.